Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or hello if you are new here, thanks for joining. Today is all about jeans, as you will know from coming to this video. I wanted to put together a comprehensive guide for how to wear jeans in summer, so I'm going to include some do's and don'ts. Just to preface this, I'm not saying don't wear it in the way I'm saying don't, but basically I kind of noticed that there's a lot of content out there showing you good outfits, um, but there's not many showing you kind of why it's a good outfit or explaining the reasoning so that you can kind of get that in your head and translate it into your own wardrobe because it's sometimes quite hard to replicate if you don't know what the reason is for it to work. So the do's and don'ts are a rough guide for ways I think are most flattering to wear a piece. But fashion is fun um, and you know, do with it what you will. But I just think you can take these rules, stick them in your own wardrobe and it makes getting dressed in the morning so much easier. So I just wanted to say that, you know, I believe fashion is all about having a bit of fun. So these rules are not really rules. So let's get into the video. So I've got five pairs of jeans to show you, different ways um, that I'm styling and different ways that I probably wouldn't style. So the first pair we're going to be talking about is classic kind of mom straight leg jeans. These are probably uh, both fit into the same category in terms of how I would style it. So the first look I'm wearing with some Aloha sandals. These are so comfy, by the way, just as a side note. I will be linking everything in the description box below too. So yeah, sandals, and then I've got my black blazer on and black tank top. Now this is a really classic way um, that I would wear this outfit. So the reason I've styled these pieces with these jeans is for a few reasons. So the first one being the oversized longer blazer. Now I just feel that this slightly longer length cuts off a more flattering place on the leg. Sometimes these mom style jeans um, can be a little bit unflattering around the thigh area. It's something that I am aware of and trying to dress the best for my shape. And for me to have something just skimming below makes me feel a lot more comfortable. And it just draws your eye past the thigh and I just think that's a lot more flattering. And then I paired it with this tank top underneath. I actually think there are so many different styles of tops that you could wear underneath this. But I love just wearing a simple top and a blazer together. Now the reason I've gone for these sandals again is to do with how flattering they are. They come right down to the bottom of the ankle. I know I've spoken about this before, but by drawing the eye right down to the bottom of the ankle, the furthest possible point, um, it really elongates that bit and I think sometimes because these jeans can cut you off at the ankle, you need something that draws the eye right down. And because these particular sandals blend in a little bit with my skin tone, um, it completely draws the eye right down. So I do recommend maybe finding a sandal that matches your skin tone a bit. So then it feels like a really um, kind of elongated transition right down to the foot. Now I'm going to show you um, how I wouldn't wear this so you can kind of contrast and understand where I'm coming from. So in terms of footwear, I wouldn't wear these chunky trainers with this. Going back to what I've just mentioned about the footwear, these chunky trainers add a lot of bulk to the bottom of the foot and they just cut you off right at that ankle so we have no kind of streamlined feel. It's very much cut off right where the jeans end and then you've got the big bulk of the shoe um, which doesn't counteract the slightly looser jeans. And then I took off the blazer to show you what this looks like with a tighter top. Personally for me, I would avoid wearing a tighter top with these kind of jeans, especially like a tank top or something sleeveless. I just feel like the proportions don't quite balance well on the eye and the jeans need something slightly boxier, maybe a longer sleeve, maybe something longer like a blazer over the top because I think especially with the chunky trainers, um, you need, if you were to wear the chunky trainers, you need something chunky to balance it out on the top rather than something tight and fitted. It just makes you feel completely off balanced and very bottom heavy. So let's move on to jean shorts. These ones are from Zara and they're such an old purchase now and I pull them out year after year because they're such a good pair. I really do like a pair of jean shorts but they can be difficult to pair with certain types of footwear and tops. Now with shorts, just as a general blanket rule, um, not necessarily just denim, but I do think 
with denim particularly because denim's quite bulky. I think it's nice to balance it out with like a longer sleeve top. And for me, the rules of dressing are all about balancing and proportions. So you've got quite a lot of leg on show and to balance that with something longer, a longer sleeve just feels a little bit more grown up and sophisticated. I've got it here with this classic Breton Stripe t-shirt, but you could pair it any kind of long sleeve t-shirt, um, maybe an oversized shirt, kind of like the one I'm wearing. You could wear this maybe with a blazer over the top. Anything longer sleeve, I think, works well to balance out the shorts. I don't think you have to wear a belt with jean shorts, but if you wanted to, that would work perfectly fine. I don't think there's any particular rules around belts with this. But going to the shoes, I think you do need to be careful with shoes. Again, it's all about bringing the eye to the furthest possible point. So some simple ballet flats like this really draw your attention right down to the bottom of the foot. And again, another rule I go on about all the time is that juxtaposition and contrast dressing and creating an element of difference in your look. So you've got the grungier trainers with the more elegant flats. I would usually avoid trainers with shorts because I do think they cut off the leg a little bit and with shorts I personally want to try and make my legs look as lean um, and long as possible. So what I've done is show you this with a pair of Converse and I really think this emphasises why I don't wear trainers with my shorts and that is because, especially with the high top Converse, they just cut your leg off at such an awkward place on your ankle. I just feel like this is such an unflattering place. Don't get me wrong, I love my Converse and I'll show you me wearing them later in a way that I like. But for shorts, that I just don't think they work. They really do cut your leg off at a very unflattering point. You've got awkward points in your leg, you've got the cut off of the jeans, then you've got some leg and then you've got short cut off of the trainer. I just think it makes you look kind of stubbier and shorter and I just don't think it works. So I would usually avoid trainers unless it was maybe a low, um, maybe like a canvas, very light kind of trainer. I definitely think you can wear denim shorts um, with heels in the evening. However, I've shown you how I wouldn't do it. Again, anything that cuts you off at the ankle. So I've got these tie up sandals here and they just like the converse, they work in the same way and they cut you off at that awkward place on the leg and I just feel like it's very unflattering. Now what I would do instead is swap these for a lighter, maybe slightly lower heel shoe, something a little bit more simple, something that comes right down like the ballet flats do. Um, so I paired them with these Aloha shoes and again I balanced out the colours, all about balance, I balanced out the lighter blazer at the top with the lighter shoes just to create that evenness on the eye as opposed to those black heels which just kind of really took away um, any focus from the outfit and just made it all about those shoes which were very unflattering. Okay, let's talk about balloon jeans or slouchy jeans. These kind of fall again into the same category. I love my balloon jeans, but I do think you need to be careful in styling them. One thing I would say though, is that they lend themselves to quite a lot of different styles of tops. So I've got them on here with this tank top. And I think something quite crucial, if you want to make balloon jeans as flattering as possible, you need to cinch in the waist to give you that kind of shape to them, otherwise they can look very slouchy, very bulky, and just cinching in that way creates some sort of shape. And again, talking about the colour balance rule, I've done this with this outfit and brought the tan from the Isabel Morant belt down to the Zara flat. And just talking about the length of the ankle and kind of bringing that line down, I've paired these balloon jeans with these flats for a reason, um, it takes your eye right down. I think I would probably avoid any chunky ankle straps that cut off your ankle at this point, because again, it will just make the balloon jeans cut you off at a shorter point on your leg, rather than drawing the eye right down as the sandals do to the furthest possible point. In terms of tops, I know I mentioned you can't really go wrong with tops. I think one thing that you do definitely need to do though is tuck your top in. So I've got this under the stories padded shoulder top and if it's loose it just doesn't work, all the fabric together doesn't work very well. 
So tuck it in instead, maybe belt it if you do want to really create that shape. Um, but something else to note, if you want to make the balloon jeans as flattering as possible, I would suggest maybe going for a shoulder pad in your top, like this under the stories one. Again, it just creates that slightly more hourglass shape. You've got the boxiness at the top, which balances out the boxiness at the thighs, and then you can cinch that in at the waist if you wanted to. And something else I've shown in this clip is shoes to avoid. I would probably avoid anything like a chunky full loafer with this. I just feel like they're a bit too heavy for this style of jean. You already have a lot of fabric and heaviness and bulk going on with the balloon jeans. So you don't need to add to that with the heavy shoe either. I think you need something a little bit more delicate and strappy like a sandal. So what I've done is just swap the loafers for some Zara sandals and I just feel like these look a lot lighter with the outfit. So let's talk about skinny jeans. One of my frequently asked questions is are skinny jeans out? And my answer to that is I don't think anything's ever out of fashion. I think if it works for you, if it's flattering for you, then it's in fashion and you can make it work. Um, I think it's all about how you feel in your clothes, how comfortable you feel, um, and what flatters you in your body shape. I know a lot of people prefer skinny jeans and find them a lot more flattering. So here are some ways that I would style skinny jeans to make them feel a lot more modern. So what I've done for this first look is kind of make it a little bit grungier, a bit more rock and roll, a bit more chunky. Because the jeans are quite skinny and tight, I want to counteract that on the top and on the bottom. So I've gone for these chunky sandals, these ones are from Mango. And I think you can do the same here with chunky trainers if you wanted to, or chunky boots in the winter. But I've gone here, as we are in summer, um, with the chunky sandals. Again, just kind of balances out the skinny jeans and then you've got a bit of bulk and then I want to balance it out on top. So I've gone for an oversized padded shoulder leather blazer. And just to kind of make it really modern, I wanted to inject those slight trend pieces like the leather blazer and the chunky sandals. So I think that is a tip. Um, if you do love your skinny jeans, try and add them with things a little bit more on trend. And the way I would wear these for summer, very much in the same style, I've gone with these chunky Zara kind of suede sandals. Again, that chunkiness um, just kind of counteracting the skinniness of the jeans. And the same with just an oversized shirt from Oasis. Just loose and breezy um, and again, counteracts that, falls at a slightly more flattering point on your thigh um, because sometimes I find skinny jeans can be a little bit more unflattering on your thigh area. So I've just gone for the slightly oversized shirt to balance that out. And then my oversized Suzanne bag, again, everything oversized, loose, relaxed, modern, um, but then just with your skinny jeans to create that balance of proportions. Finally, I wanted to talk about wearing skinny jeans in the evening, um, which I definitely think you can do. So what I've done is go for these quite modern heels. This is something I'm mentioning a lot with the skinny jeans. Make it more modern. So I've added these heels in from Dear Francis. A boxy blazer, again, to cut off um, the thigh area, which I, like I say, find more flattering. And I think this is really easily recreated in anyone's wardrobe. Now, what I definitely would not do in terms of going out and wearing um, heels is pairing them with really tall heels and a tight top. All that tightness, the tallness and the skinny jeans, it's too much. It's too much of one thing. It's, it's tight on tight and tight and I just don't think it works um, and I think it's quite a dated look as well to have everything really tight. So I would, like I say, counteract that with a boxy blazer. I'd also avoid your heels being too tall as well. Like I say, I think that's a little bit dated now. So wide leg jeans, here I am in my wide legs. I love these jeans, um, they're so comfortable as well. These are from Zara a couple of years ago. Zara do great denim. I'll try and find something similar um, to link below. So I paired them here with my Converse. So I did want to show you how you can wear Converse um, with your denim. I think it's definitely doable. Um, so I paired them here with the Converse. And I think in terms of styling wide leg jeans, a round toe um, trainer works really well. And I've just gone for the oversized trench. And again, I think you can get away with quite a lot of top shapes for the wide leg jeans. I think the oversized 
um, trench looks quite cool and on trend with the oversized wide jeans but equally I think you could wear a tank top with this um, or a shirt like I'm wearing. I do think tops you can get away with quite a lot of different styles. Um, and then I've just shown you a different type of trainer, something a little bit chunkier. These grey ones are from Zara and I think these kind of style lend themselves a little bit better to a more structured style of maybe cigarette trousers. I don't think this chunky style works particularly well with the wide leg style um, and I think again it's not a round toe like the Converse are, it's a slightly more pointy toe and I just don't think that works quite well. Again, I think it looks a little bit dated um, and I would avoid those style of trainers with the wide legs. And in terms of flat shoes, I'm showing them here with some ballet flats. Again, I'm not really sure the ballet flats work with the wide leg. I think they look a little bit too feminine. I just don't think they work that well with the style of the jeans. Again, I think these style of shoes lend themselves a bit better to a slightly more cropped straight leg style of trouser. Maybe it's because the roundness of the toe cuts you off a bit. That being said, I think the round toe trainer looks good. Um, maybe because the trainers feel a little bit more modern. I feel like this looks a little bit old fashioned with the ballet flats. What I would go for instead is something like a strappy, simple sandal. I don't think chunky sandals particularly work well. I think they're too chunky with the wide legs, but something more delicate counteracts the wide leg of the jeans. Looks really fresh, simple, modern, a very understated and quite an elegant look. I think wide legs can sometimes be a bit tricky in terms of looking elegant. So I think a slightly more elegant, dainty sandal works well to counteract that. And like I say, I've just swapped for the shirt here because I do think you can get away with a lot of different styles of tops with these wide leg jeans. So I do hope that has helped you and um, kind of figure out how to maximize your jeans and get more wear out of them. I know a lot of us just stick to the same style of jeans or the same outfits with our jeans. So hopefully this has opened up um, a few more possibilities for you in your wardrobe and helped you in terms of styling them in the most flattering way. If you did like it, please don't forget, um, give me a thumbs up. Very, very much appreciated if you do. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Um, I really, really appreciate it. We're creeping up to 200,000 subscribers now. I'd really appreciate it if you um, subscribed along and joined in with this lovely community that we are building. If you'd like to see any more kind of do's and don'ts guides, leave me a comment below with the kind of ones you'd like to see um, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.